The Washington Monument is back open to visitors this noon. It had been closed since Monday while crews repaired an electrical problem. Sam Sweeney is live on the National Mall right now with what you need to know if you're planning a visit. Sam? Hey, Larry, good afternoon. For the first time since Sunday, tourists began lining up for tickets up to the observation deck at 6 o'clock this morning. For the last two and a half days, the Washington Monument has been closed because of a catastrophic power failure. Tourists who were only in town for a few days have been antsy to get up there. On Sunday night, more than 60 visitors were briefly stuck at the top when that electric system failed and the elevator stopped working. Now, they had to use the stairs to get down. One person had to be carried down. Engineers say repeat power outages may have altered the alignment on the elevator, but now tell us that everything is fixed, tested, and has been up and running since about 9 o'clock this morning. Out here right now, it may be dreary, wet, poor visibility, but the tourists we spoke with say they've come from around the world to see the view from the top. Yeah, we came out yesterday, and one of the park rangers was really nice. He said, get here tomorrow morning. And get here early. We were here at 7 o'clock. Did they tell you what was wrong? They said electrical problems. Yeah. And I told my daughter it was a long climb up, so she said, we'll come back tomorrow. If you got lucky today? Yeah, I would have been disappointed if we pulled the Wally World experience and walked up to the window and saw closed. So we only have two days here. Glad it's open. Now, you may remember after the earthquake, the Washington Monument was closed for about 32 months. It cost $15 million to fix. The good news today, the National Park Service says this fix won't cost taxpayers anything because the repair work is already built into the elevator contract. Reporting live on the National Mall, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News.